Over an aerial view of Harpers Ferry, pink text reads, The Virginia Secession, 1861. Lower Town Harpers Ferry. Hello, my name is Tiffany and my family and I live in historic Harpers Ferry. In a dining room. Hey Lynn, Tiffany. Coming! Hey. Oh. Oh my gosh, there's grandma and grandma here. Kids run down the stairs and greet their grandparents. We love when grandma and grandpa visit. They always tell us stories about the olden days. I get the chair. No, I get the chair. No, you don't. Why does she always get to have what she wants? Just ask her. At least move your They sit down at the table. The grandparents speak next. Now stop being mean to your sister. Take your hoodie off. It's indoors. The mother? So Caitlin, Tiffany, what did you guys learn at school today? Oh, well, we learned about the Virginia succession. Uh, like how Barbara went to the Virginia Secession Convention. I remember that. We don't have to get out and talk about that. Barbara was chosen to go there so he wouldn't vote for secession. A flashback to 1861, a voting place. The townspeople of Harper's Ferry voted for someone to send to the Richmond Convention. Hunter for secession and Barbara for the Union. Photographs of the two. Barbara, Hunter, both great men. Votes are submitted and counted. Five. Good. Next. Next. Present day, the grandfather speaks. Well, I learned in Barber came back and he actually voted for secession. Yeah, apparently he misled them or something. Yeah, he went there and changed his mind to vote for secession. 1861, a sign reads Whitehall Tavern. Inside the tavern, a woman enters. Barbara voted for secession! What? What? Oh my God. What? 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 People begin fighting. <laughs> the present, one of the girls. Wait, so because he changed his vote, People started fighting each other? That doesn't make any sense. The father? Well, my father told me that the town was really upset because they campaigned hard for Barbara to vote to stay with the union. The mother? Well, is that true? Did that really happen? Well, yes, pretty much, because everybody was voting for different people. There were two candidates, Barbara and Hunter, so they were both on, naturally, on different sides. And Barbara didn't vote. Well, do we know why? The mother? I don't think we'll ever find out why. Pink text on a black background reads, the next day. The next day at school. In a classroom. Have a seat, please. All right. This morning, we're going to be talking about the Virginia Secession Convention. I'm late. You are late. Turn in your homework. Have tardy slip. Have a seat, again, please. Ashley? Yep. You also have your hood up. Take it off, please. Thank you. All right, so the Virginia Secession Convention. Um... Who can remember what we were talking about? Yes. Um, last night at the dinner table, our grandpa was telling us about how the townspeople were so angry with Barbara. Yeah, they were pretty angry with Barbara because he said that he was going to vote against secession, and then he voted for secession, right? So they were pretty upset about that. Yes. Didn't they, like, blow up the armory? Somebody burned down the armory. His name was Lieutenant Jones. And he did that because the Virginia soldiers were going to come and take all the guns. And so they didn't want them to have the guns, so he decided that the best thing to do would be just to burn the whole thing completely, and then the, the guns wouldn't uh, be taken by the Virginia soldiers. And then all the townspeople didn't want their whole town to burn down, so they were putting out fires, and it was all, it was kind of a big mess right after that. Um, but, yes? Weren't there a lot of fights breaking out because of this, because of the people who were for and against it? Yeah, yep, there were some, some people who were upset about the secession vote. And so they were, uh, yeah, they were fighting with each other. In front of a mural of Harbors Ferry, kids addressed the audience. On April 18, 1861, the townspeople were very upset and angry. If you were out for Barbara, what would you have done? And how would you have handled it? If you were a townsperson, what would you have done? And how would you have handled it? Scrolling pink text on a blue background reads, Credits, Director Ashlyn Courtney, Screenwriters Casey Vines, Brandon Wasson, Storyboard Artist Vanessa Chester, Videographers Justin Conley, Alex Gibby Liddell, Film Editors Tiffany Hartman, William Owens, Sound Slash Music Editor Caitlin Lebrecht, 
Actors Brandon Wasson, Caitlin Lebrecht, Vanessa Chester, Tiffany Hartman, Casey Vines, Alex Gibby Liddell, Justin Conley, Ashlyn Courtney, Anna Rusk, AJ Biller. Costumers Tiffany Hartman, Casey Vines. Thank you for watching. White text on a black background reads, Special thanks to Journey Through Hallowed Ground Partnership, www.hallowedground.org, the National Endowment for the Humanities, the Rust Family Foundation.